pretty much the same thing. Very, very. Just trying to, because when you're playing over dance music, you don't, you can't do, you know, in insane lead stuff, and you can't do really heavy stuff because it's just not enough frequency in the music. Because in dance music, the sub bass is so huge. There's no way you can do crushing riffs and make it sound huge. You know, that's the. I always try and like. That's why I think I got the the thing about writing more um, melodic melodies that cut through. You know, so yeah, it's pretty much the same approach, really. Yeah, I don't really understand jazz. Just, I've got a lot of respect for jazz musicians. It's so hard, but. I do like like looking at jazz transcriptions and nicking the chords. Like um, there's a song that never got used on the album. That had this um, progression. I think it went. And that came from this jazz lick. It went. So I just nicked that and made it made it a bit more rock. But yeah, I do love jazz. And it's, it's not, I think it's something you learn when you get mellow. A bit mellow. I think I might try and learn on the Ozfest. I've got so many days off. <laughs> Yeah, I've always played Ibanez. First guitar I got was um, an RG550, my 18th birthday present. It was like hallowed guitar, like oh, no, been dying to get it. So um, I think it was at the same time that all the, you know, all the Vi and the Satch, and it was like the guitar to have. But even though um, I don't really do that sort of stuff in Pitch Shifter, the guitars are just great. I mean, this thing gets thrown all over the place, and it's great. No, nothing modif there's no modifications. It's all the same pickups, same neck. It's just straight from Ibanez. I'm not one of those people that says, "Oh, uh, I need you to make me a rosewood thingy, and it's got to have this pickup, this pickup." And I'm not really into all that. It's not 